What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is MX-5 range test. I've got my safety slides on, hoping to get an ankle tan. We've got the bikes right here. Everybody's been wondering which of these bikes, the E-Ride Pro SS or the new Tellari MX-5 has the best range. They both have the same size battery, so I would expect them to be similar but the people online don't think so. They think that this bike is heavier, which it is, about 25 pounds. Everybody thinks it's gonna be way different. So today, here is our test. We're gonna do eco mode and sport mode, two different comparisons. Right now we're doing eco mode. Me and Alex are gonna ride these bikes side by side next to each other at 29 miles an hour, fully pinned until they die. Alex is lighter than me, so he's gonna be wearing this backpack full of water bottles so that we weigh exactly the same to make this as fair as possible. Here we go, we're starting out. I got my drink, I got my GPS rolling. Okay guys, just starting out. I am at 99%, that just ticked down from 100. I'm pinned, going 28 miles per hour on the display. Lance is gonna check in with his GPS, see how fast we're actually going, but it should be pretty close to that. Alex is up there, we'll catch up to him here in a sec, but we're holding eco mode, full throttle, 29 miles an hour on the screen. 29.4 on the GPS. All right guys, quick little update. We are at 90% battery and we're at 5.9 miles. So we're doing really good. So if this stays super consistent throughout the battery, we're gonna have fantastic range in eco mode. If you guys are new to our range test videos or our channel, we've done this same test on pretty much every other stock bike. We'll flash a chart up on screen so you guys can see that. So then you guys can just compare each model. All right, time for a little update. I am at 75%. I just asked Alex, he is at 77%. So he is winning by just a little bit. We're at 37 minutes, 15.6 miles, still averaging about 26.6 miles an hour. I know this doesn't really simulate a real world, like real life range test where you're gonna be like speeding up at stoplights or at stop signs and going through towns where there's different speed limits and stuff, but this gives a really good basis to compare every single bike in the most controlled environment that we can. We've tested so many different bikes with the same exact test, eco mode at around 28 miles an hour, sport mode at around 50 or a little more. All right, everybody, we are at 50% on the Tellari Sting MX-5. Right there, 50%. We've done 31 miles, 31.6. An hour, 15 minutes, 39 seconds. Our, our average speed was like 26 and a half. Bang on, we just have held that the entire way. Then the E-Ride Pro SS is at 53%. So it's slowly adding percent as we've gone down. It's getting a little bit ahead, but Honestly, the first half in these range tests doesn't make half the difference that the second half does. That's where it really matters. So we're gonna stay side by side and whichever bike starts to slow down, if it's dropping power with the battery, we're just gonna match it with the other bike. So it's just gonna be straight, fair, side by side. And we'll keep you guys posted as, we're, as our speeds are dropping. I'm gonna take a brief moment to talk about the size of this battery. This is a 72 volt, 40 amp hour on the Tellari Sting MX-5. It's also the same size battery as the E-Ride Pro SS at 40 amp hours, 72 volts. And that bike weighs about 25 pounds less than this one. And no, we haven't been drafting the whole time. We just kind of moving around. Uh, we just stopped for a second back there. So I was catching back up but things are going good. Uh, I am at 36% and about 39 miles. So we are doing fantastic range right now. Hour and 40 minutes of runtime at the moment. So we'll give you guys another update as we get lower. We have not given enough credit to those brakes on that bike. I don't think I would ever upgrade those. I think they're perfect how they are for the weight of the bike, they're perfect. Okay, time for another update. I am at 16%, Alex is at 20%, so we're still four off. The Sting MX-5 is losing at the moment, but we have done 50.4 miles, which is a huge win in my book. Two hours and six minutes. And I am at two, I just ticked over to two. So the car's up here, maybe a half a mile. So I hope we make it there. Oh no, <laughs> that's it. I think that's it for me. Crap, error 38, 57.6. We're gonna coast to a stop here. 
0.6 miles. Let's see if we can get 57.7. Come on, come on, come on. Did he just die right there? Are you dead? Dead throttle. That's it for me. E-Ride Pro dies at 7%. I'm dead. Are you? Yeah. Did you die right there? Was that it? That was really it. <laughs> Quick video interruption to announce that we are going to the E-Motocross World Championships this October 19th in Taft, California. If you guys are interested in coming, it is a E-Moto only event, which is super cool. So there'll be a bunch of E-Moto classes for motocross. You guys can come race. You can check out all the booths. There'll be a ton of E-Moto dealers and vendors there. You can meet us, check out our bikes. If you guys are interested in coming, check out all the info in the video description. Back to the video. So you beat me by about a hundred yards. So the E-Ride Pro shuts off at 7% and when I turned it back on, it kept going. So either way though, it's like they both died at, I mean, this is the same spot. Like whether you think a hundred yards is the same spot or not, it is after 57.6 miles. There's the truck. I've only been walking for like two minutes. Couldn't have timed that any more perfect. Time for the sport mode test. We got our fully charged E-Ride Pro SS here, Sting MX-5 there. As you guys saw in the first half of this video, they died within 100 yards of each other. We're calling that a straight up tie after 57 and a half miles. That is as close as it could possibly be. So now for sport mode, we're not running full throttle. We are holding about 50 miles an hour because that's what we've done with all the other bikes that we're pitting these against. So we'll flash that chart up again so you guys can compare. And we're just gonna ride side by side at 50 miles an hour. We'll stop at 50% and check how we're doing. And we'll see what happens at the end. GPS is started. Hey, time for our first update. I am at 86%. I just checked with Alex. He's at 87, so we're 1% off. We're going 50 miles an hour. We've done 3.6 miles. It's pretty windy today, so that might affect this a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, time for another update. I'm at 73%. Alex is at 75%. He's two above me. It is super, super windy. We're draining so incredibly fast. We've done 7.2 miles. I think the wind is really slowing us down a lot. Okay, we stopped to do our halfway check. The Sting MX-5 is at 50% battery. We have gone 13.6 miles, 18 minutes, 38 seconds. The E-Ride Pro is at 55%, so we're 5% up right now. Holding the same speed, we're going. Quick update, for me, I'm at 39%. We're still holding about 50 miles per hour, and we've gone just under 18 miles. All right, quick update, I am at 25% on the Talaria. We're at 19 and a half miles, 26 and a half minutes. Alex is right there. Last we checked a minute ago, he's at about five or six percent above me. I'm at 14 percent on the Talaria, and we're at 22 and a half miles. Alex is at 23 percent. We're nine percent different now. All right, another update. I am at nine percent. I am pinned at 38 miles an hour. I'm now in hyper mode. I don't think it made any difference, but I'm just going as fast as I can. I can still go faster somehow, but he is pinned, he's full throttle, and I'm just slowing down so I can match his speed. We'll see which one goes further. 5%, 37 and a half miles an hour. 4%, 35 miles an hour. Dang it, I am not making it back to the truck. There's no way. This sucks, I hope Alex makes it so he can come pick me up. Alex is at 12%, but his bike turns off at seven. I'm at 2%. Come on, baby. Come on, a little further, a little further. Oh no, 1%. That's it. 26.4 miles. He is dead. Give me the GPS, I'll go get the truck at least. Okay, I've acquired the GPS from Lance. We're speeding up to faster than Lance was even going when he was dead. I'm at 11%. We have gone 26.5 miles. Okay, Alex 
Alex just rode off with the GPS. We'll see how far he ends up going. I am dead and off, and I'm just gonna start walking towards the truck. We made it. Here we are. All right, sport mode is over. Let's show the results. We'll flash those up on screen. You guys can see that the Talaria Sting MX-5 did 26.4 miles, and then the E-Ride Pro won at 28.2 miles, and was riding for about five minutes longer at an average speed of 25 to 30 miles an hour by the time the battery was nearly fully depleted. Now added these bikes to our range test chart, so you guys can look at that and compare it to all the other models that we've done the exact same test on. We understand this is not a real world test and that people don't usually stay in eco mode or stay in sport mode, but this is the easiest way for us to compare bike to bike. Both of these bikes performed identically in eco mode. And I think where the biggest difference lies for sport mode is the extra weight that this bike has. That 25 extra pounds that it weighs, I think made a bigger difference at 50 miles an hour. There could have been a couple other small factors. It was very windy and the bikes were both being pushed very hard and that just different batteries and different controllers perform a little bit different under different circumstances. Nonetheless, I think both had fantastic range. I think they're very, very comparable and super, super impressed with 57 and a half miles in eco mode. All right, we appreciate you guys watching this video and stay tuned for our next one because we are pitting these bikes up against each other in a top trumps category session where we're gonna be ranking each bike, tallying up the score and seeing which one is gonna come out on top. Catch you next video. See ya. We'll see you at the Electric Motocross World Championship Saturday, October 19th at Honolulu Hills Raceway in Taft, California.